Yes, new January stimulus checks are going out right now in 2023 across several different states. And no, it's not just California. <laughs> this is your stimulus check update. So you're gonna to wanna to stick with me throughout this video. I'm gonna be covering an assortment of different headlines for checks taking place right now. And as you guys know, I have a comprehensive list of every single stimulus check for states, cities, and counties at my website at www.reliefroadmap.com. But take a look at these headlines coming out, you guys. Uh, this one just came out two days ago. Stimulus update, direct payments worth up to $1,500 is gonna be sent out in 15 days to Colorado taxpayers. Here's another one, six states. They're gonna be sending out stimulus checks in 2023. Here's another one, $450 relief checks provided. Now Maine can get down to business. Here's the official press release on December 6th from Governor Janet T. Mills. It is the Energy Winter Emergency Relief Plan. They're gonna be sending out these payments and also just coming out yesterday, new Mexico is going to be sending out another round of stimulus checks. So stick with me throughout this. I'm going to cover these and also the six states. And like I said, I've got over a hundred different stimulus check programs at my website at www.reliefroadmap.com. Just trying to provide you guys with as much information as I can to help out you and your family. And if you appreciate that, do me a favor, smash the like button, hit subscribe to stay up to date. And again, all of these articles, I'm gonna put them on the screen, read right from them, cite them in the description so you can see them for yourself so you can know it's the latest. But with that being said, you guys, let's dive right in and get you caught up on a stimulus check update. All right, so first off, stimulus update, direct payments worth up to $1,500 to be sent out in 15 days to Colorado taxpayers. And yes, this came out two days ago, and it's gonna give you all the details if you're in Colorado. Now, take a look very quickly. In 15 days, Colorado residents who file their 2021 taxes will receive a tax break of up to $1,500. This payment scheduled for January 31st will be for state residents who filed for an extension on their 2021 taxes. Any resident of the Centennial State who filed Filed their taxes by October 17th will get $750 from the Colorado Cashback Program, while eligible couples will get $1,500. Now, Governor Jared Polis signed a law in May to return money to taxpayers and originally intended for the payments to be $400 for individuals or $800 for couples, but due to additional state revenue, the amount recipients will receive has been increased according to the state's Department of Revenue. So those excess funds adding to the stimulus check money. Now to be eligible for this payment, Colorado residents must have been 18 years of age or older by December 31st of 2021 and have been residents of Colorado for their entire 2021 income tax year and have filed state income tax returns for 2021 or applied for a property tax, rent, heat credit rebate according to the Department of Revenue. So that is in Colorado. Up next, take a look, $450 relief checks provided now. Maine can get down to business. Now let's take a look at the official press release from the governor. Here it is, and this came out on December 6th, and it says, Governor Mills announces emergency winter energy relief plan. And it says the plan proposes sending $450 checks to Maine people, supplementing home heating assistance and emergency fuel programs and funding emergency short-term housing to avoid homelessness during the winter months. Now scrolling down, it says the there's four different components. The first is the winter energy relief payment of $450 to an estimated 880,000 eligible Maine people, amounting to 900 in relief for the average Maine family. So 450 for an individual, 900 for a couple. Based on your already filed 2021 tax returns, eligible Maine people will have a federal adjusted gross income of less than 100,000 for single individuals or 150 for head of household or 200 for a couple filing jointly. Now, in addition to that, in Maine also, Home Energy Assistance Program Supplement or HEAP, Emergency fuel is also going to be available 10 million to Maine Community Action Partnerships to help them deliver emergency fuel assistance and also short-term housing support 21 million to bolster the emergency housing relief fund created by the governor. So that is taking place in Maine as well. And take a look at this press release that just came out yesterday. New Mexico on the move. Now, New Mexico has already sent out several checks and it looks like more is gonna be on the way. Governor Lucian Grisham delivers the first state of the state address of her second term and announces legislative agenda for 2023 session. Now, scrolling down, we've got healthcare and behavioral health that was addressed, education and child well-being, public safety, and here it is, economic development and tax reform. And the first one, 
putting more money in New Mexicans' pockets, delivering economic relief through one-time rebates of $750 to each individual taxpayer or $1,500 to couples filing jointly. And again, this is state funds excess surplus. That is why this is becoming available to help out people of the states. Now, I've got six more I'm going to be covering, but also stick around because there's excess funds on a federal level for everybody in the nation. We're going to be talking about that here in just a second. Now, take a look at this. Here are the six states that are sending out stimulus checks in 2023. And again, this article just came out yesterday. All of this is the most current latest information on stimulus checks. Now it says, it's fair to say that 2022 was a tough year for a lot of people. We can largely blame inflation for that. Higher living costs force many people to dip into their savings accounts and take withdrawals to cover their basic needs. And a lot of people also had to rack up balances on their credit cards to keep up with essential bills. But here are six states that are sending out payments. Now, first, of course, is California. California approved stimulus checks for inflation relief of up to $1,500 last year, and most of those payments have already gone out. But a small percentage of these payments, they weren't set to be sent out until mid-January, so some people may be in for a windfall this month. And I've let you know that we know of over 25 different stimulus checks in California alone on state, county, and city levels. I've got them all compiled on my list. Number two, Colorado, which we just covered. Number three, Idaho. Idaho approved stimulus payments worth up to greater than 10% of a taxpayer's 2020 income tax liability and 300 for single tax filers and 600 for joint tax filers. The state, however, isn't done sending out that money and doesn't expect to finish until March. So if you're in Idaho waiting for this, it's still on the way, don't worry. New Jersey is number four. They're sending out stimulus funds in the form of property tax rebates. Homeowners earning up to 150,000 are entitled to $1,500 rebates, while those earning between 150,000 and 250,000 are entitled to $1,000. Renters can also qualify for a $450 rebate if their income doesn't exceed $150,000. Those payments are slated to arrive during the first few months of 2023 and recipients should have them in hand by May. Number five, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania approved payments of up to $650 last year, though some residents might qualify for supplemental rebates that leaves them with a total payout of $975. These payments are limited to older renters, homeowners, and people with disabilities. So a lot of the people that collect Social Security in Pennsylvania, you might be eligible for this, and residents needed to claim their money by the end of 2022. This means that associated funds should go out this year. And number six, South Carolina. Now, South Carolina approved rebate checks of up to $800 last year. Those who filed their tax returns before October 17th should have received their money already. However, those who filed after the deadline should get their money this March, provided they submitted their tax returns by February 15th. Now, take a look at this. So far, there are no plans to issue any federal stimulus checks in 2023, but that doesn't mean that some Americans won't see extra money coming their way. And let's talk about on a federal level. We have an excess of $500 billion of leftover funds from previous packages just sitting there. And that is why they're able to send out state checks. Now, with this money that's sitting that could go out to everybody, uh, all they have to do is reallocate, repurpose these existing funds. And I've let you know here on the channel several times, this could be done by executive orders as long as it's done, as it's done correctly. Congress holds the power of the purse, which means to issue new funds, we need to have legislation through Congress. But to just repurpose existing funds, to send it out for similar purposes to help fight the pandemic, that's the purpose of those federal pandemic funds, uh, it just takes an executive action by the president. So that money is just sitting there. What if they sent it out for stimulus checks, social security increases, child tax credits, fulfilling some of the promises from before? We will see, I'll keep you up to date. Now, in addition to that, I've let you guys know here on the channel that just a week ago, the IRS had announced $1,232 payments that would be going out to somewhere between 12 and 15 million people. This is real, it's official, 
and it's going out. Now, if you want to know more information about the four different groups of people that are going to be eligible for this that should have been notified, or if you weren't notified but you're eligible, what you need to do, check out this video right here next as I cover the details for you. But thank you guys so much for joining me. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to stay up to date. I'll let you know everything happening with stimulus checks, Congress, our economy, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.